I believe very strongly that the pastor, whether it's this fellowship or any other fellowship, the teacher, whether it's here or somewhere else, is doing a disservice to the church when they're not feeding them the word of God. If you go to a church and don't get a Bible study, you're being ripped off. You're being ripped off. If you go to a church where you bring your Bible but don't have to open it up because the pastor's maybe going to read a few verses and then go off into la-la land, you know, telling you the things that's on his mind or on his heart, or that's not a Bible study. And in our day, a lot of people are caught up with that. In our day, a lot of people wouldn't even know a Bible study uh, because they haven't had one. I really believe the command of Christ is something to be followed. Now, in a day when people no longer endure healthy teaching but heap unto themselves teachers having itching ears and voluntarily turn themselves from the truth and turn themselves to fables, in that day that we're living in right now, there's a lack of discernment in the body of Christ. And somebody was asked, what do you think is the greatest problem in the church today? What do you think is the greatest problem in the church today? And you know what the answer was? The answer was pastors. Pastors. And this person who was asked is a well-known theologian, but when he was asked, what do you think? He said, pastors. What do you mean pastors? Why would it be pastors? They're not teaching the flock. They're not taking time to cry over, over verses to plumb the depth of them and making them applicable to those who come to be fed. And in instead of having churches that are centered on Christ, the churches become to be centered on entertainment or centered on popularity or centered on everything but growing in Jesus Christ. And so the commission that God gave to, to, uh, to the Apostle Peter is the same commission he's giving to the, the shepherds. He's telling them, take care of the sheep. Teach them the word of God. You need to shepherd them, tenderly care for them, and feed them. And what do you feed them? You feed them God's word. You teach them, and you feed them, you care for them. And that's what he's saying here. Shepherd the flock of God which is among you, serving as overseers, not by compulsion, but willingly, not for dishonest gain, but eagerly. 